here we go, setting up our Yobo Gear Cricut hammock stand. So the first thing we're going to do is fully extend all the aluminum poles. There are eight poles total. Four of them are legs for the Cricut stand and four of them go on the top part, which you'll see here in a minute. We went ahead and fully extended all the poles ahead of time. But what Cal's going to do next is pull out all four top pieces. Now you can tell they're the top pieces because they won't have the Yobo Gear logo on them and they won't have the silver feet in the bottom. He's arranging those in kind of a diamond shape. And as you can see, he put the two long pieces of cordage on the same side of the diamond. And you'll see why in a minute taking those bend pieces and snapping the poles right in there. And doing the same thing on the other side. Next, he's grabbing one of the Cricut hubs. There's two total. And there's a side with one hole on it, and that side faces up. You can see a close-up picture of that in your instruction pamphlet. And those ridge pieces slide into the Cricut hub. Same thing on the other side. And what he's going to do next is make sure that the pieces stay in the Cricut hubs without sliding out like that. He's going to grab those pieces of cordage in the middle, lift up the center pieces a little bit, and what that does is make it so the cordage easily reaches to the other side. And he's going to clip those in an X, and the top piece is done. So now he's going to grab the legs, and those also just slide right into the Cricut hubs. If you've done it correctly and put the side of the Cricut hub with a single hole on top, then the legs and the ridge pieces should all slide right in easily. So two legs in, and then to make sure the legs stay in, we're going to clip that ten tension cordage. And same exact thing on the other side. Now he's unwinding all of the other leg cordage. It's probably easier to do that before you have the stand set up, but we forgot this day. Anyway, he's bringing those anti-spreader cords up to the bend pieces and using the clips on the bend pieces to attach them. And we'll do that four times, one time for each leg. Now Cal's about to do something very, very important for the stability of the Cricut stand, and that is lift, squeeze, maybe shake a little bit, and that gets a nice peak in the center of the ridge of your Cricut stand. If your Cricut stand is flat across the top, then it is probably going to collapse in on itself. So you want a little bit of a peak in there. You want those anti-spreader cords straight, but not necessarily tight. There's a tiny bit of slack in them, but not so much that you can see. Next, we're going to use those super handy adjustable legs to account for the uneven ground that we're on. So simply push in the spring button and pick the height that you want your leg on. All four of the legs adjust, which makes it so handy. And you can see what happened to our lines there. Because he made the legs shorter, the lines got a little extra slack in him. So all he's doing is using the Prusik knots instead of the other knots and putting those at the exact length he wants them 
and the line can be straight again. So do the same things on all four legs if needed. Give it a good visual check. Make sure the peak is still in the center. Again, that's so important. I can't emphasize it enough. And it's time to hang your hammock. And those Cricut hubs are made so a carabiner can clip right into them. Or if you want a different angle on your hang, or if you have a shorter hammock, you can also make little daisy chains and hang it that way. And make any last minute adjustments that you feel are necessary. It's almost time for the moment of truth. Always, always sit slowly in your hammock to check your work. Cal even likes to bounce a little bit to make sure it's stable. Looks like we're ready to relax. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.